You can see here everything's in the same base. That's kind of nice, right? So what am I going to do? I want to turn it into adding and subtracting, and then I want to use my adding and subtracting laws to combine three logs into one. And then I presume I can simplify from there. Okay? So for instance, first log. This is the reverse of the power law, isn't it? So what's that two going to do? It's going to come out to the, to the top. It'll become 10 squared. So that will be log base 5 of what? 100. 100. That's what 10 squared is. Good. Okay. Then over here, I've got subtraction. When you subtract logs, you divide what's happening in the middle, right? So this is going to be plus log base 5 of 50 divided by 40, which is 5 over 4. Huh. Okay, so far so good. When I add logs, I'm now at another step, right? When I add logs, I multiply what's happening inside, right? So I've got 100 times 5 over 4. The hundred and the four, they can um, cancel some stuff there. The four is going to cancel, leave me with 25. So I'll have 25 times five, which is? 100 and 25. Hey, I recognize that. How long do I have to stick it in my five times growing machine? So it gets 125. Answer, three minutes. Because five cubed is 125. Okay. Do you see how I just tried to go, like, don't be overwhelmed by this. Just look at each individual piece and see what you can do. And it kind of unfolds from there, right? Okay. Uh, I was the other one you asked before, right? Okay, this time, you tell me what to write. Someone who hasn't said anything yet, give me a suggestion. What can I do? Okay, so I've got a half here. Oh, you're talking about this number here, root 20? What do you want to do with that? Okay, so I've got 2 log base 4 of 20 to the power of a half. I can do that. <coughs> Excuse me. What about this guy? What can I do with him? Yeah, I can do the reverse. Now, by the way, can you see why? It's like, hold on, wait, why, why are you doing one thing here and you're doing the opposite there? Do you see why, actually, sometimes we'll do the opposite? 25 is a square number, right? So taking the square root is easy, whereas 20 is like, pfft. Who knows what the square root of 20 is? No one knows what it is. So therefore, I want to get rid of the half there, but I want to put it in here. So this is going to turn into log base 4 of 25 to the power of a half, which is the square root of 25, which is 5. OK? Next step, tell me what to do. Yep. So you get one, so... So that half is going to come out the front with the power law, cancel with the two, it just leaves you with no. that, right? And I've got this guy at the front, he hasn't, he hasn't changed. Then divide it. Okay. And then yes, because I'm going 5, take away 20, it's 5 divided by 20, right? So I'm going to go log base 4 of what? 5 on 20, which is... A quarter. <coughs> Excuse me, a quarter. Okay. <coughs> One last step, or do you want to do it in two? You could go straight to quoting this if you wanted. Right? Four to the power of negative one. Good, this is four to the power of negative one. So the negative one can come out the front. And it's times log base four of four will be left, which is just one. I'm done. <coughs> okay. 